Now, remember, before we get into this, Jameski said all this stuff, you know, about the final court date, the final court date. This is 100 percent lying by omission by Jameski. This is how he lies. Where everyone swears in under oath, states your full name. Everyone states their full name. Two men get sworn in. She testifies. Jameski makes no mention of the firearms or what's put into evidence. No mention of Too Mad saying he didn't own firearms. He made no mention of Too Mad embarrassing Jameski's lawyer when he said, what about this picture of you shooting? He makes no mention of that because it would not uh, bode well for him to paint Too Mad out as being honest. So this is the final court doc that you guys will see. All right, so this is December 5th. They try to call him. Can you hear us? Like all this back and forth. All this back and forth. You know, they got a phone number, but no reception. Now, like, here's the thing, right? His personal phone number is in here and shit. Like, this is this is how court docs, you get doxxed and shit. You in court, minding your business, and they're like, yo, here's his phone number. They don't redact any of this shit. Now, if this was another channel, it might just be still up there. Okay. Hey, Department 13 for Mr. Whatchamacallit. Yeah, I'm trying to. Um, I'm in the courtroom on my laptop. So this is Too Matt right here. Try, this is him talking. The respondent is Too Matt. I, hey, can you hear the court? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can hear the court. Can you hear the court? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. The court, yeah, I can hear you. Fine. All right. You ready to proceed today, sir? Yeah. Look, look this is what's happening in court. Remember, court reporters record everything everyone say. They can type like a million words per second. The court, you are? All right, all right. We're going to put this on a brief second call while the attorney goes out and talk. We'll call you definitely before noon this morning. Can you hear me now? Uh, yeah, I can hear you loud and clear, way. <laughs> all right, sir. Mr. Too Mad, the court, can, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is the lawyer. Can you clarify that he's prepared to proceed in pro per? So his lawyer already prepped him for what to say in pro per. Too mad can move forward with no lawyer. Uh, can the can you come? You know, he wants the court to say, hey, he can proceed in pro per, even though I'm pretty sure he prepped him when you see his responses. And then counsel, I have talked and she's prepared to. I believe they are prepared to drop the contempt. So Goldilocks is ready to drop the contempt claims. OK, sir, are you prepared to proceed in pro per without an attorney? Too mad. This is what too mad says, guys. He's the respondent. Yeah, I don't need an attorney. The court, okay. And the petitioner, you have dropped your uh, uh, contempt. You've dismissed it without prejudice. Is that correct? She says, correct. Correct your honor. And that is the, her attorney is right there, right here. All right, the court. All right, thank you. All right, give the court a couple of minutes and we'll call you. And we'll have you back on the second call because they have the second call for the restraining order evidentiary hearing. Right. So. All right. All right. The respondent. OK, the court. Thank you. His attorney. Hey, thank you, your honor. May I be excused? The court. Yes. Thank you to Mads Lord. Now, remember, remember uh, the way the way it's characterized by James Key is that his attorney Wanted nothing to do with anything. And I, I don't I don't have the page number, but he's like, oh, his attorney didn't want anything to do with it. He wanted to boat out of there. Did it look like he wanted to boat out there? <laughs> James Key looks like he would yell objection during a career. He might. All right. So now his court is his he's gone. All right. Now, go ahead. This is them leaving. Hey, I am, you know, Too Mad's lawyer on behalf of the respondent. Hey, I'm Too Mad on behalf of the petitioner. You have to do this to close out the contempt hearing. OK, so now contempt is donezo. OK, contempt donezo. All right. Now, the court will call number four. This is Goldilocks versus Too Mad. Too Mad, can you hear me? The court. Yes, we can hear you fine. Perfect. Too mad. OK, yeah, I can hear you. The court. All right. You ready to proceed, sir? Yeah. The court. All right. Well, you stand and raise your right hand and you too, ma'am. 
So everyone solemnly they get sworn in. Okay, tell the truth. Will you state your full name? I am Goldilocks, aka James Key Sock Puppet, aka Two Mads Victim. All right. The court. Thank you. Have a seat, sir. You need to answer the oath and then state your full name. Two Mad. I I I agree. The court. Thank you. Uh, the respondent. My first name is Breda Two Mad. The court. Thank you, Mister Two Mad. Ma'am. So the court before it has a request for a civil harassment restraining order filed July 6th of 2023. She just says yes. So when I'm like, when you see the AI reading it, it's just her saying yes. And the statements and allegations in your petition true and correct. Yes. The court. And for purposes of this morning's hearing, would you like the court to accept those statements and allegations as your testimony? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this was this the original request. Nothing else. They, they didn't say, hey, we want us to put that contemption in here. No, just a, my original application. The court. The court will briefly summarize your petition, then allow you to add or correct the court summary. Allow your attorney to present any other evidence. And then Mr. Tumat will have a chance to present his side of the case. All right. Yes. Do, do you understand that? Yes. You state that you and the respondent, which is two Matt, are former friends and acquaintance, correct? Yes. The court you met online in 2021, correct? Yes. You state that he has SA'd you. He's coerced you into dropping neck and intercourse. He's asserted coercive control that he has firearms, has pulled, has, has pulled a, a firearm you. Is that correct? Yes. It's basically them just summarizing their stuff. And what else would you like to tell the court, ma'am? OK, what else would you like to tell the court? This is where she tells the court. You ready? He has conditioned, continued to harass me every single day, relentlessly for months now, has made my family fearful because he has sent things to my family address. He has a history of swatting people. I, she's going through it. And I remember she got this shit on thick. Uh, He's never been, you know, convicted of swatting anyone. Can you explain what that is for the record? OK, <laughs> what she says? Yes, that's where you make a false 911 call to send a SWAT team sent like to somebody's house or, you know, workplace, wherever they may be, either to scare them or potentially get them deleted. Now, has she been swatted? That's a that's a that's a phenomenal question. That's a phenomenal question. Has she been swatted? Has she been swatted? No. The answer is no. Her saying he has a history of swatting. Based on what? Jameski? Jameski saying he swatted him? This is where the sock puppet stuff comes into place. Um, let's, let's keep going. All right. He has also leaked my full name online to his massive audience, which he probably did. But, you know, there was no tweet to that. There was no tweet to prove that he has been threatening to leak more of my private information online. He's been tweeting about it, saying he's going to dox me. He never said her explicitly. Um, and like I said, her name is 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 famous. It has a it's a there are famous people with her name. If you if you if you know her name and you Google, you like, wait a minute, <laughs> like. You don't got like some fucking very unique name where it's just like, oh, this person is right here. Like you look it up, you like, yo, like this person on Instagram got the same name with a way more following. You like, holy shit. But anyway, I mean, like I said, a lawyer would have been helpful to say, you know, he's not threatened or dox her directly. This is semantics. But, you know, uh, when you hear what Too Mad says, you, you, you'll see for yourself. Dox, D-O-X, which just means reveal personal information. And he's been threatening my friends, threatening witnesses, trying to blackmail them a lot. Those are the main points. Now, look, who is the witness, right? Who is the witness? Do you think her lawyer or James was like, make sure you put threatened witnesses in there? Because in none of these uh, evidence did they say, hey, he made a direct threat against this witness to the case? Also, during this entire case, there was no witness statement taken or considered for this case. So when you say witnesses, where, where are they? Did the judge want to hear from the witnesses? Nope. Did they make a statement? Nope. Like, 
They serve no purpose in this case whatsoever other than to insert themselves into it. So James Key can say, hey, I'm a witness. OK. All right. The court. All right. Thank you. Now, uh, the court. Mr. Tumat, do you care to respond? Now, remember, James, he was like, Tumat said nothing. He, he read his, his chat GPT statement and went on about his day. Like, look, look let's not forget what, what he said Tumat said, right? She brought up the, the history. Tumat attempted to make the same false claims he made online against the victim in court which were immediately shut down by the judge. He had to be reminded he was under oath, and afterwards, he did not deny the claims brought against him. He provided no evidence to the court to refute her claims, despite having months to do so as he realized that the investigation already knew what was happening. The investigation and legal always knew that Tumad's evidence that included messages, photos, and audio were fake. There was a stack of paper thicker than a book, that would describe how and what kind of artificial evidence he had created, including him creating fake chains of text messages. Remember, this is to discredit Tumat, okay? <laughs> it was to discredit Tumat. At this point, the judge asked Tumat for his defense. He read a statement written by ChatGPT that the judge instantly shot down. Tumat was caught lying via objection and was reminded that he was under oath. After this, he didn't fight the claims, uh, so he wouldn't dig deeper grave for himself. Look at this fucking lie. All right. What does he say? Hey, I met the petitioner on a prostitution social media approximately around the end of 2021. Her lawyer. Objection, your honor. Two man just kept cooking. Hey, I haven't met the petitioner approximately since 2022. I blocked her from my social media around June 24th, 2023. I haven't called or texted her since the year 2022. But look at my man. He, 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 he stood on the square. Hey, I met that bitch on a prostitution social media approximately at the end of 2021. He said objection. Now, look, you're going to see what his cake ass lawyers say in a second. There's no uh, sustain. There's no overrule. There's no strike that from the record. This shit's on record that two mad met her on a prostitution social media approximately around the end of 2021. That's what two mad said. I can only go by the court documents, guys. All right, this is it. All right. Look, I haven't met her. Since, you know, 2022, I blocked her from my social media around June 24th, 2023. Haven't caught or text her since the year 2022. I don't own or have any firearms. I don't have any intention to hurt anybody, including the petitioner. I'm a law abiding person that respects and practices restraining order issued on July 6th, 2023. I would like this court to know that I am innocent and left alone to live my peaceful life. Thank you, your honor. Now, is this is this Chad GBT? I mean, it's very specific where you don't want to hurt the petitioner. I mean, maybe it's Chad GBT, but uh, my man doubled down on the prostitution website. Now, what, what the judge say? What the judge say? All right. <laughs> where, where's the judge? Shut, did the judge say, hey, silence too mad? It's like, hey, too mad. Shut the fuck up. Did the judge be like, too mad? Shut up, bitch. He didn't say that. The judge just said, all right. So, but in James Key's world, in James Key world, he wants you guys to know that the judge instantly shot him down. This is a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Uh, what, what, what would he say? It's not a lie. It's not a lie. The judge really did shut him down. And you know, James Key got a copy of the documents because he won. He posted it. And two, I have a copy. This is a copy. It's a copy. This is a copy of what James Key got. He got the same thing. So why is he lying on two, Matt? To further vilify him. So you guys hate him. You don't see him as a human. All this other stuff. Now look. <clears throat> all right. Counsel, you care to respond or cross-examine. This is her lawyer. <clears throat> Your Honor. I'll just say that nothing that too mad just said makes any sense whatsoever, nor is it true. He met my client on Tinder, not a quote prostitution site. That's horrendous for him to say. The one thing I will submit on to evidence was submitted with our application as well as the contempt proceeding. I just want you to see this picture, Your Honor. Your Honor, in, in particular, which shows the respondent pulling a blicky on my client. And then the reason we have this photograph, Your Honor, is because he took it himself through his ring camera and then posted it to his Twitter account to his tens of thousands of followers. The petitioner, hundreds Hundreds of thousands of followers, excuse me, laughing and taunting her. 
I'll submit this into evidence in addition to what's already, what's so already the court. Okay. With the application. All right. So they, they hand the picture over, right? You're like, well, Henry, what's the picture? You guys remember this picture. You guys, you guys already seen it. It's this picture right here. This is the picture right there of him pulling the blicky on her, the BB blicky. I mean, I, people say, well, it doesn't matter that it's a BB gun. All right, well, this is the picture that he gave to the judge to enter into evidence. All right, so now that we got that out the way. All right, sir, I've been handed a photograph of a ring camera. It appears to be a hand sticking out with a firearm. It says the caption above, it says to TWO quote, meaning quotation marks, literally driving, it's like a cell phone, and then close quote, mad at two, mad, mad July <laughs> 4th. You've seen this before? Now look, they, they have some issues where he's like, I don't know <laughs> where uh, I've seen it at, or whatever, uh, because he can't see. Is it supposed to be visible on a court? It wasn't attached to the petition. I think I know. And then her lawyer, it was attached to the petition, the court, is looking for it right now on the petition. This would be, uh, I just don't see it like on, like he doesn't see it on the screen, guys. This is him saying, I don't see it on the screen. It's exhibit C. It would be page 32 of 34. And he just responds, yes, so I don't have her own firearms. <laughs> hey, this is it. Yes, I don't have her own firearms. The court, you don't have her own firearms? Yeah. The court. So the social media excerpts that are attached to the petition, those aren't you posting pictures of weapons and I don't own or have any firearms. I don't own or have any firearms. Remember, guys, it's not what you know is what you can prove. And chances are he probably doesn't because he said in the interview he had $30,000 worth of ketamine. And the last thing he wants is people to execute a search warrant and find his drugs. Now, James Key's cake ass lawyer says this, <clears throat> your honor. If that's the petition he's going to take, I also like to give you another screenshot from a video he posted online where he goes outside onto his balcony and fires his firearm into the air multiple times and post that video on Twitter. And I have a screenshot of that video as well. The court. Is that true, Mr. Too Mad? Responded. Um, the thing is that video is completely edited. It's the muzzle flaring, the sound of the gun going off. It's edited. It's for YouTube. I'm a YouTuber. That was also recorded quite a long time ago in Las Vegas. There's a couple witnesses to it, but I don't own or have any firearms. Now, this is there. There it go right there. So the picture that they showed him was from the contempt that was filed. Uh, where is it at? Where is it at? The contempt where he's where he's holding the BB gun and like, see, look, he has firearms. They're like, look at this. He shot this gun outside. And he clearly just said, hey, this is edited. This is edited. But James, he didn't report that. Hey, this is some bullshit. <clears throat> what the fuck? He, he didn't report that. He didn't put that in his 52 page manifesto. He just said the judge instantly shot him down. He was caught lying. Where was the lie? Where did the judge lie? Hey, man, you, you fucking lying, ain't you? There's nowhere to be found. Your Honor, I think we should remind him that he's under oath today. The court. I think he's aware that he's under oath, counsel. Do you have any comment on the rest of the exhibits that, you know, uh, Miss Goldilocks attached to the position? You know, the email, text message shots, and some are maybe not the most tasteful comments, sir. He responds, yeah, I don't really have anything to say. He made, he made the comment. I mean, what's he going to say? All right. Is there anything else, Mr. Too Mad, that you want to tell the court? No. The court. All right. Anything else, you know, from you? Nope. Restraining order. It, the, find the petitioner credible. She met their vote and approved by clear and convincing evidence. The court will issue a restraining order for a period of three years. The and the rest is history, guys. Now, you scroll down, I mean, if you read through this, you know, this is what he's ordered to do, uh, not do any following, harass, threaten, intimidate, contact, take action to obtain her address, stay at least 100 yards away from her, her home, job, workplace, no mention of, hey, bring your fucking guns in. Concluded at 1125. So what do you guys think 
who was left, <laughs> I know it was long, of this whole ordeal, of this whole debunking, of James Ski's lies about two men. I know it's kind of like reiterating the whole video, but the live stream just helps, you know, better connect with people. And I, I felt ob obligated to do it. In all honesty, obligated is the best word. What does Wayne say? People only want truth and justice for the people in their good graces. Being outside that bubble is a rough place to it. Facts. Facts. That's the 